Greetings everyone. Today on the bench I have a little phototransistor circuit set up right here. This is a FPT100 transistor. And if you're familiar with Radio Shack, you might remember these old semiconductor packages in blue they used to have back in the day. 79 cents. I just opened this and put it in the circuit. Would have been priced at 79 cents back in 1979. In the 1980 catalog, it was 89 cents. And since the next year's catalog would have come out in the late previous summer, this has been packaged for at least 40 years. So, yeah, it's kind of a old product I've had sitting around here for a while. Here's some of the specs. So what I want to do is play around with a phototransistor and actually hook it up to the oscilloscope and to an audio amplifier and we can actually hear the signals and see the waveforms on the scope. And here is the schematic of the circuit. I have 9 volt supply here going through an LED really don't need the LED but it's kind of a visual indication of how much current is flowing the brighter the LED the more current is passing through the transistor I have a 4.7 K resistor that will help limit current and of course the transistor itself and you'll notice that it does have a lead for the base even though it is a photo transistor so what I'm doing here I'm connecting a resistor from base to ground to reduce its sensitivity. It is pretty sensitive and because of all the ambient light it might um, cause some issues when I'm experimenting with it here. So I added a 470K resistor here which reduces the sensitivity. Over here is the output. I'm going to have a DC blocking resistor because I'm going to connect it to audio amplifier in the scope. So what that does is any changes in the current here will pass through the capacitor as AC and we'll be able to hear it from the audio amplifier and see the waveforms on the scope. Okay, here is the circuit again. I'm going to go a little bit closer there. The black round thing there is the phototransistor itself. Looks kind of like those old dome transistors they used to have except that the top is clear. It might be of some interest to you that even ordinary transistors are sensitive to light. This is a TO3 cased transistor. I removed the top dome and you can see if we can get a focus on that. There we go. There is a little transistor there and I have it connected to this LED right here and if I cover that you can see the LED is on and it's just picking up the ambient light if I cover it up it goes out now if I point it to the light source here it gets even brighter now watch what happens when I shine my flashlight on this transistor turn that on That LED comes on full power. Look at that. It's really bright. I wonder if I face this transistor to the LED and then shine the light on it. Yep, I triggered it on. And if I pull it back, it'll go off. Triggered it on. I notice it is real sensitive as I pull the light back. It gets dim pretty quick. So as you can see, semiconductors have to be shielded from the light or you'll have problems with them in normal operations. So that's why they have covers over them, not just for physical protection, but to keep the light away from them as well. Okay, so I hooked up the oscilloscope and this little amplifier to the output of the phototransistor circuit. 
This is a TDA 2050 mono block. Just powering it with 9 volts. Now watch what happens when I shine a light on it. So when I shine a light on it, you don't really hear much, but when I move it back and forth quickly, you can kind of hear that, that bass sound. But this light here, it uses pulse width modulation to control the brightness. So watch when I shine that on there. You can actually hear that signal in the speaker. And here's what it looks like on the scope. So yeah, it's using that to control the light intensity because you can set this different brightness levels. Main reason I set the circuit up is I was going to test different LED bulbs to see which ones have the least amount of flicker. So I'll take this light here I use for my bench here to light up the bench and really don't hear anything nothing on the scope so this LED bulb has virtually no flicker let's try another bulb okay I have another LED bulb it's dimmable dimmable bulbs tend to flicker a little bit not necessarily to the eye but the cameras may pick it up. As a matter of fact, this camera is barely picking it up. But when I move in close, oh yeah, you can hear it. And it shows up on the scope. So yeah, this bulb would probably not be ideally suited for camera work. So now I have a 15 watt incandescent bulb screwed in. You may think that they don't flicker, but yeah, they do somewhat. Makes a nice sine wave too. I don't know if you can see that, but the LED is on. So now what I want to do is attempt to send an audio signal through the light beam and have it detected by the phototransistor and amplified for the speaker. So I've taken this TDA7267 amplifier, removed the output coupling capacitor, and in place I put a resistor and the diode. So this is a very simplified circuit. You have the signal coming in going through the amp current limiting resistor and through the LED. The reason for removing the coupling capacitor is well the LED is a DC component we don't want to put AC on it plus being a single supply amplifier it will have the output biased at one half the supply voltage that way that gives us the constant light or in this case infrared coming out of the LED so we'll get a nice signal without a bunch of distortion. Let's see how it works. So the camera can show that infrared pretty well. It's completely dark to my eyes. But the camera does pick that up somewhat. So now I'll point it to the sensor. You can see the light comes on with my finger in front of it. Move it up higher. Block some of that ambient light. has a very tight beam so I have to get it just right problem is this music has quiet spots and loud passages so let 
and try something else. So yeah, you can see it does work. If I get too close, it overdrives the photo transistor and distorts. Okay, well there you have it. Some fun with a photo transistor. Thanks for watching.